had gentler invitations. <clears throat> I am Cassandra Pentecost, seeker of the Chantry. <laughs> and just, uh, what are you seeking? The champion. Which one? You know exactly why I'm here. Time to start talking, dwarf. They tell me you're good at it. <laughs> what do you want to know? Everything. Start at the beginning. Bullshit. That's not what really happened. Does that not match the story you've heard, Seeker? I'm not interested in stories. I came to hear the truth. Well, what makes you think I know the truth? Don't lie to me! You knew her even before she became the champion. Even if I did, I don't know where she is now. Do you have any idea what's at stake here? Let me guess. Your precious chantries fall into pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. If you can't point me to her, tell me everything you know. You aren't worried I'll just make it up as I go? Not at all. You'll need to hear the whole story. The Blight had been unleashed on Ferelden. Darkspawn poured out of the wilds, clashing against the army at the ruins of Ostagar. The battle was a disaster. King Kaelin died on the field with his men, betrayed by his most trusted general. Unopposed, the Horde marched on the village of Lothering. The village burned, and many innocents were slaughtered. The champion's family barely escaped in time. Must be gone. Flemeth. I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? No. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. What else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you. The witch kept her word and got them to Guaran, where they took ship. They sailed north across the waking sea, lashed by terrible storms. Two weeks they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. And then they saw it. Kirkwall, the city of chains. Long ago, it was part of the Imperium. Slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city. But I use the word loosely. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows, welcoming you. That's where their ship landed, with all the rest. Thus began the champion's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So she made her name, settling her debts with the mercenaries. It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. 
great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But, most importantly, that's when I first met the champion. No, this can't be right. The champion was an apostate who came to Kirkwall to spread subversion against the Chantry. But you claimed this wasn't the case. The champion just happened to have dealings with the Canari, joined forces with a known raider, a blood mage, a rebel warden, and for what? Coin? Maybe it's not as simple as you imagine, Seeker. Simple? Do I need to remind you what your friend did? Do I need to tell you how many lives have been lost? How many more will be lost? You cannot sit there and tell me she is innocent! I don't know if innocent is the right word exactly. She must have known. Somehow the Champion knew what was down there. That's why she wanted to join your expedition. No. None of us knew. If we had... She wouldn't have let her brother step foot into that blighted hole. Is that so? Then tell me your version of what happened on this expedition. Well, we entered the deep roads as planned, but we didn't get very far. So the champion's brother was a Grey Warden. Yes, but that's not the connection you're looking for. Isn't it? The involvement of the Grey Wardens makes perfect sense. And the Champion's companions, Meryl, Aveline, Isabella, that Warden Anders. Don't remind me. I introduced them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. Motive and opportunity. It's still not what you think. Then I need to hear more. Unless you've already decided. I can always go if you don't need me anymore. Tell me what came next. The treasure we found in the deep roads made us a fortune. The champion moved up in the world. Literally. Bought a mansion in Hightown. Everyone knew who she was now. Even the Viscount was taking notice. The Grey Wardens left Kirkwall. It was months before we learned Connor survived. Three years later, the Kunari still haven't left. The Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us knew better. Give me my brother. I was just jealous of you. How could I ever compete with you for mother's love? You're strong and handsome, and so very smart. What? Why lie now about this? What have you to gain? What do you want from me? I broke in, I found my brother, and it was awkward. Family business. No. I think there's more to it. <sighs> Fine. You want the gory details? I'll give you the gory details. Are you sure about this? The champion was asked to go to the Canari. I suppose you think she planned the entire thing. Considering what it led to. Come on, Seeker. I'm not going to sell Hawk short. But nobody could have foreseen the way that that would go down. Or do you still think I'm lying to protect my friend? There are elements of your story that make sense. And you couldn't have known about them otherwise. Well, that's a relief. But that doesn't mean you're telling me everything. I want this story to be told. You're not the first to get it all wrong. I think I owe Hawk that much.
You seem confused, Seeker. The champion killed the Arashok in single combat? It just sounds so... romantic. If I didn't know better, I'd say you developed a case of hero worship. Why? Because I have respect for a woman who built herself from nothing? Mm-hmm. If you're telling the truth. If you are, then... What happened at the gallows may be far different than we assumed. I need to hear it. Let's say I tell you. Then what? Are you hunting for an infamous apostate? Is that what this is all about? Or is it revenge? No, it's not that. Then what about me? If what I tell you isn't what you want to hear, will you still let me go? I will let you go. Well, now we're talking. None of this is what I thought it would be. Tell me what really happened. Champion of Kirkwall. That was the reward. <laughs> A fine title. Every noble at the keep owed the champion their lives. She wasn't just a hero. She was now the most important person in the city. Except for Knight Commander Meredith, of course. With the Viscount dead, she stepped in to keep order. Things quickly got out of hand. The more she squeezed the mages, the more they resisted. The more they resisted, tighter she squeezed. After three years of that, it all came crashing down. Word of the slaughter spread quickly. The champion's name became a rallying cry, a reminder that the mighty Templars could be defied. She had defended the mages against a brutal injustice, and many lived to tell the tale. The circles rose up and set the world on fire. More Templars arrived at Kirkwall to restore order, but we were already long gone. We vanished into the hills, and circumstance eventually forced us all to leave the Champion's side. Well, all of us except for Anders. You still hear the stories, of course. With each telling they grow, even if at the core remains the truth. A new legend had been born. So that's it. That's the whole story. Then Meredith provoked the circle. She was to blame. Or that damned idol was. Or Anders. Take your pick. Even so, had the champion not been there... It might never have even gone that far. I see. So how is hearing all this going to help? You've already lost all the circles. In fact, haven't the Templars rebelled as well? I thought you decided to abandon the Chantry to hunt the mages. Not all of us desire war, Varric. Please, if you know where the Champion is, you must tell me. She is a hero. A woman that the mages would listen to. Someone who was there at the beginning. The Champion could stop this madness before it's too late. She may be the only one who can. Is that what this is all about? In that case, I wish I could help you. Just tell me one thing, then. Is the champion dead? Oh, I doubt that. Then you are free to go, Varric. May the Maker watch over you during the dark times ahead of us. Same to you, Seeker. Same to you. So, did you... Gone. Just like the Warden. That is no coincidence. So, do we proceed with the original plan? Or keep looking? It is in the Maker's hands now. We put our faith in him.
have a report you might find interesting. It tells of a chasm in the Vinmark Mountains, and a secret that was said to be buried within. Yet when the Chantry went to investigate, they were turned away by the Grey Wardens. And why would I find that interesting? Because the Champion was there. I can't help but notice you failed to mention this adventure. Oh, that? I didn't think you'd be interested. Just some business with Hawk's family. A few Carter dwarves who went too far. <sighs> You're not going to believe me. I'll take my chances. All right. Don't say I didn't warn you. I said you wouldn't believe me. When the Seekers arrived at the structure, this prison, it was destroyed. The Grey Wardens were there, but they said an entire unit had been lost. They did not mention this Janneke. And now you claim the Champion was not only there, but defeated a Magister. One of the Magisters of old. Left there by the Wardens themselves. A curious tale. I wonder if there's more to it. A small matter. A moment for the last of the family, and an echo. You'll forgive me if I take a liberty or two. You've been wasting my time, Beric. It stops now. Seeker, you wound me. The Champion nearly starts a war, and you're all too happy to bury it beneath your words. You will tell me about the Kunari. What's left to say? The Arishok was killed and a champion crowned. And yet we had Orlesians threatening sanctions of every kind and measure. What happened at Chateau Hain? What happened with Talis? You've heard about her? We had someone there, but they lacked your access. Whatever Talis was to the champion, it seems like it angered a nation. Thousands of lives were at stake, Seeker. Perhaps one still is. Uh, nicely non-specific. <clears throat> All right, let me set the scene. An ambush, an invitation, a hunting party. All because of Talus. The elf was Kunari. And the dwarf has no beard. I know, it made no sense to me either. Maybe they cut her horns off. The Kunari are not a race. They are a religion. What I don't understand is why a Kunari agent would try to kill one of her own people. And why involve the champion? Excellent questions. I expect answers to match. I live... Let me guess. You haven't seen Talis since that day. A safe assumption, given her nature. And who is left to appease or lay after a duke's murder at the hands of the champion of Kirkwall? Prosper invited it by dealing with Talvashoth, possibly under orders from Empress Selene. Imagine the scandal if that was known. <laughs> if you believe a Kunari agent. Well, that's the difficult part, isn't it? I don't know why Hawk helped Talus. I suppose she was pretty for a Kunari. <laughs> Whatever the reason, I doubt it's the last we've seen of her. But what do I know? I just tell stories. <laughs>